How's it going, people? Well, I'm going to try to do this section again because I totally screwed up the last time and it went on way too long. New bookmarker that I found. St. Jude. The guy whose head can be used as a big lighter. And he's the patron saint of hopeless causes. My kind of guy. Ah, section 52. And let's, we're going to do this. This is it. Uh, that was from a false start. Revelation. Given through Joseph Smith the prophet. To the elders of the church. At Curtin, Ohio. June 7, 1831. A conference had been held at Kirtland, beginning on the 3rd and closing on the 6th, and on the 7th they had a revelation. At this conference, the first distinctive ordinations to the office of high priest were made, and certain manifestations of false and deceiving spirits were discerned and rebuked. See History of the Church, Volume 1, page 175. I can see right now I'm going to have to read this History of the Church. Missouri designated as the place for the next succeeding conference. Wow, he is a prophet. He knew where it's going to be next time. A year from then, it's that time. Okay, I'll find my spot again. Uh, elders named with their respective appointments to travel two by two. Preaching and baptizing. One. There we go. Behold, thus saith the Lord unto the elders whom he hath called and chosen in these last days by the voice of the, his spirit. Isn't it funny? It's like it's uh, June 7th of 1831 and they're in the last days. Hurry up. Get your shit together. And wasn't John the Baptist saying that shit too and it didn't happen? Doesn't it say somewhere in Leviticus that if you make a prophecy and it isn't true, you're bullshit? <laughs> At least be a good bullshitter. And this guy was. He'd have been entertaining. Uh, Alright. Two. Sorry, I went off on a tangent. <laughs> About the last days that we're always in. Always. I guess it is somebody's last day, every day, all the time, their last minute, somewhere on the planet. But that's the way of things. All right. By the voice of the Spirit, two by two, saying, I, the Lord, will make known unto you what I will that ye shall do from this time unto, until the next conference, which shall be held in Missouri. God, he knew that already. Upon the land which I will consecrate unto my people, which are a remnant of Jacob. And those, those who are heirs according to the covenant. Them two. Three. Wherefore, verily, I say unto you, let my servants Joseph Smith Jr. and Sidney Ridgeton take their journey as soon as preparations can be made. To leave their homes and journey to the land of Missouri. 
Didn't Jim Jones uh, have an idea like that? Come on, followers. What kind of place we're going to go live in. At least it didn't go that way with these folks. Just as they believe all the same stuff. All right, for and in as much as they are faithful unto me, it shall be made known unto them what they shall do. Five, and it shall also, in as much as they are faithful, be made known unto them the land of your inheritance. Six. And inasmuch as they are not faithful, they shall be cut off, even as I will, as seemeth me good. Seven. And again, verily, I say unto you, my, let my servant Lehman Wright and my servant John Carell Take their journey speedily, and there's their honorable mention. <laughs> Eight, and also my servant John Murdoch and my servant Hiram Smith take their journey unto the same place by the way of Detroit. <sighs> Nine, and let them journey from thence, preaching the word by the way, saying none other things than that which the prophets and the apostles have written, and that which is taught them by the Comforter through the prayer of faith. Ten, let them go two by two, and thus let them preach by the way in every congregation, baptizing by water, and the laying on of the hands by the waterside. Eleven, for thus saith the Lord, I will cut my work short in righteousness. For the days come that I will send forth judgment unto victory eventually. Twelve, and let my servant Lyman Wright beware, for Satan desireth to sift him as chaff. As chaff. No, he did. Thirteen, and behold, he that is faithful shall be made ruler over many things. Fourteen, and again, I will give unto you a pattern in all things, that ye may not be deceived, for Satan is abroad in the land. Okay. I was going to say. That ain't right. And <laughs> just being silly. And he that goeth forth deceiving the nations. Satan, that guy. Fifteen. Wherefore, he that prayeth, whose spirit is contrite, the same is accepted of me, if he obey mine ordinances. Sixteen. He that speaketh, whose spirit is contrite, whose language is meek and edifieth, the same is of God, if he obey mine ordinances. Seventeen. And again. He that 
trampleth under my power shall be made strong. Really? You get extra points for licking boot? Jeez. Trembleth under my power shall be made strong and shall bring forth fruits of praise and wisdom according to the revelations and truths which I have given you. this camping, but I got some tickets up else. Yeah, I'm going camping and there will be videos. <sighs> Alright. At first. Uh, Alright. Gotta totally find my place. Um, fruits of praise and wisdom according to the revelations and truths which I have given you. 18. And again, he that is overcome and bringeth not forth fruits, even according to this pattern, is not of me. 19. Wherefore, by this pattern ye shall know the spirits in all cases under the whole heaven. So there you go. Because there's some fake spirits running around, apparently. I mean, invisible, I guess. But they manifest it somehow. Probably that burning in the bosom again. All right. 20. And the days have come according to men's faith. And it shall be done unto them. See, that's all you got to do is just accept it. That's all. See, I'm trying to help. Uh, 21. Behold, this commandment is given unto all the elders whom I have chosen. 22. And again, verily, I say unto you, let my servant Thomas B. Marsh and my servant Ezra uh, Thayer take their journey also, preaching the word by the way unto this, this same land. 23. And again, let my servant Isaac Morley and my servant Ezra Booth take their journey also preaching the word by the way unto the same land. Each one's taking a different route. We get it. 24. Hang on. And again, let my servants Edward Partridge and Martin Harris take their journey with my servant Sidney Ridgeon and Ridgeton and Joseph Smith Jr. 25. Let my servants David Whitmer and Harvey Whitlock also take their journey and preach by the way unto the same land. 26. And let my servants Harley P. Pratt and Orson Pratt take their journey through Brother Tag Team. Yeah, too bad, too bad about Triple P, huh? Stole the wrong wife. That husband decided not to take it. <laughs> and martyred his ass. They got a statue of him somewhere, I forgot where. Heh, <sighs> Wikipedia, honestly. Check it out. Harley P. Pratt. <sighs> And preach by the way, even unto this same land. 
27th, and let my servants Solomon Hancock and Simon Carter also take their journey unto this same land and preach by the way. 28. And let my servants Edson Fuller and Jacob Scott also take their journey. <coughs> All right. 29. And let my servants Levi. W. Hancock and Zebedee Coltrane also take their journey. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right. 30. Let my servants Reynolds Cahoon and Samuel H. Smith also take their journey. 31. Let my servants Wheeler Baldwin and William Carter also take their journey. 32. And let my servants Newell Knight and Sela J. Griffin both be ordained and also take their journey. <coughs> Damn. It's trying to creep out on me. Uh, yeah, I'm a lightweight. 33. Yea, verily, I say, let all these take their journey unto one place in their same courses. No, in their several courses. In their several courses. <coughs> oh, there it is. And one man shall not build upon another's foundation. Why not? Either journey in another's track. Oh, that's right. For them. They gotta all be hitting virgin territory. Making new Mormons. You know what? I haven't eaten anything since 11 o'clock. That's why I'm tipsy. Okay. <sighs> God, for the divine bovine. I didn't say which God. <laughs> one of them. Probably a Hindu one. Sorry. Now I'm really in trouble. <laughs> 34. He that is faithful, the same shall be kept and blessed, blessed with much fruit. Probably more than yet, that other dude. Yeah. No, fuck him anyway. He ain't with the program. 35. And again I say unto you, let my servants, <coughs> Joseph Wakefield and Solomon Humphrey, take their journey into the eastern lands. 36. Let them labor with their families, declaring none other things than the prophets and the apostles. But they, these guys got their own prophets and apostles, so. <laughs> them too. I mean, you know, they call themselves that, so they are. <sighs> lost my place. Of prophets and apostles, that which they have seen and heard, and most assuredly believe, that the prophecies may be fulfilled. 37. In consequence of transgression, let them, wait, let that which was bestowed upon Herman Bissett be taken from him. That happened to my sister. She got a registered letter from the Latter-day Saints saying she had to sign for it. <laughs> They're like, you're not a Mormon anymore. That baptism didn't count. And tell you after you're dead, sorry. I'm going to have to claim you that. <laughs> Uh, 37. 
in consequence of transgression, let that which was bestowed upon Herman Bissett be taken from him and placed upon the head of uh, Simon's writer. He gets it now. <laughs> We're going to put that halo, take that halo off your head and make it hover over old uh, Simon Ryder. Simon's writer. Sounds like an alias, like he was embarrassed. <laughs> 38. And again, verily, I say unto you, let Jared Carter be ordained a priest, and also George James be ordained a, a priest. 39. Let the residue of the elders watch over the churches, and declare the word in the regions round about them, and let them labor with their own hands, that there be no idolatry, because you know that's going to happen if they're idle. <laughs> Nor wickedness practiced. Which includes a, a, an array of naughtiness, apparently. <laughs> ah. Stress, sorry. Going camping. <laughs> ah. Uh, all right. Forty. And remember, in all things, the poor and the needy. One or the other, or they got to be both. I don't know. Well, I guess it says poor and the needy instead of poor or the needy. So, never mind. Uh, you can be both. But I suppose you can just, I mean, because some people are very needy. I seem to find those kind of people. <sighs> and when they get sick, yeah, them too. And the afflicted, for he that doeth not these things, the same is not my disciple. 41. And again, let my servant Joseph Smith Jr. <laughs> and pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Uh, and Sidney Ridgden and Edward Partridge take with them a recommend from the church. <laughs> and let there be one obtained for my servant Oliver Cowdery also. 43. And thus, even as I have said, if ye are faithful, ye shall assemble yourselves together to rejoice upon the land of Missouri. Yeah, it's pretty. I like it. Parts of it are. Which is the land of your inheritance? So that's a prophecy right there. Missouri is Mormon town forever, right? Land of their land of their inheritance. Stamp it from from up high. All right. Where the fuck am I? Yeah, land of your inheritance. There it is. <laughs> Which is now the land of your enemies, but you're going to end up in Missouri. Not like someplace like Utah or something. That wouldn't happen. 43. But behold I, the Lord will hasten the city in its time. The New Jerusalem is in Missouri. Aha. Hmm. That's uh, verse 43. 
Uh, we'll hasten the city in its time, and we'll crown the faithful with joy and with rejoicing. That crown's going to look a lot like a dunce cap, I think. Just some really smart people believe in some stupid shit. <sighs> 44. Behold, I am Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and I will lift them up at the last day. Which keeps not happening. Even so, amen. And you know what? It's going to just keep on. But anyway, that's 42. That's 52. That's 52. And, uh, hey, I made it. I realize now, because I haven't eaten anything since uh, lunch. <sighs> I was in a hurry to make a video. Just got in. <sighs> Anyhow, let me know if you learned something. I, I just had this on my mind the whole time and, and that. Anyway, stay tuned. We're going to get through this. I'm going to read the whole shalom. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you are having. And have some of this sometime. It's like eight bucks, but god damn. If you're a carnivore, it's like a heaven in a bag. Damn.